once again, it's time for Music Quest! <laughs> Welcome to Television Family Game Show, the Pet Show Musical Noise! Now here's the host of Music Quest, Darlene Murphy! Hi there, Nice to have you. And Stuart, hi. Nice to have you with us. And welcome to Music Quest. On a scale of knowing or not knowing the answers to our music trivia, we'll find out how our choristers do today. Jim Ripley, introduce our melodic group, please. Our red team, Rick. Say hello to the Hill family. And their opponents, the blue team, Stuart, Shelley, and Ron, the Terran family. And back to you, darling. The curtain has risen, and before we get on with your performance, a very important job to lock in the mystery melody. One note for every correct question, teams will be given an opportunity during the game to guess their mystery melody. And so for the red team, their melody has been locked in. And for the blue team, we will do the same. Now, guys, this could be the performance of your musical career here. This is a scramble format, and I'll give you an opportunity to listen to the audio clue before I ask you the question. Here we go. Name the British superstar best known for his character Ziggy Stardust singing this obscure 1965 record, I Pity the Fool. Yes, Ray. Uh, David Bowie. That's right. <laughs> Control. Control for your next question. Actually, his real name was David Jones, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, okay. Here we go. Name the Martha Reeves and Vandellas hit David recorded with Mick Jagger in 1985 for Live Aid. Dancing in the Streets. Dancing in the Streets. You hit the high note again. Excellent. Control once again for this segment. Which 1975 hit by David about stardom and recognition repeated the title over 50 times? Fame. That's right. And now it's time for you to listen to your mystery melody. You have four notes. You could get up to 70 points. Mary had a little lamb. <laughs> well, that's what it sounded like. Mary had a little lamb. <laughs> Her fleece was white as snow. What a happy group here! doing just great 100 points in the first segment of our game. <laughs> I know, Stuart. All right. Here we go. One note. One note, gang. Strangers in the night. No. I wish I could add. I wish I could have added a few more bars of that. Lots of show left. We are back with more of our show. <laughs> Five pounds is only a meal away from seven. Seven is a weekend away from 10. 10 is a day away from 12. And 12 is just, really, three days away from 15. I gained 35 pounds in five weeks. When you set the five pound limit and you went to six pounds. Oh, I said, oh, it's no big deal. This is water. See, I never said it was water. I knew it was biscuits. <laughs> I said it was water. Regaining weight on the next Oprah show. Ugh. Kick off your week with Oprah. Today at noon, here on 2 and 7. Denture wearers, here's Jane Powell for Polydent. One thing I learned growing up in Hollywood is how important it is to always look your best. Which is why if you wear dentures, you should always use Super Strength Polydent. Super Strength Polydent soaks away the toughest stains to leave your dentures super clean. And its minty mouthwash ingredient, mmm, leaves them minty fresh too. So put your best smile forward with Super Strength Polydent. It leaves your dentures minty fresh clean.
Butter up and win. Reggie and his grandmother bought some butter and asked for a butter up and win game card. They could, uh, the grandma could win one of 125,000 instant prizes right in the store. By scratching the card, she could win three pounds of butter, or $25 in groceries, or $50 in groceries. And when she enters the sweepstakes, she could win one of 16 GMC trackers. Butter up and win. So buy butter and ask your cashier for a game card. Putting off buying furniture because of the proposed GST? Sure can't wait to get that new wall unit. Announcing Leon's GST guarantee. Look out, he's got a gun. Who's got a gun? Buy now, and if prices go up, you save. If they go down, we'll refund the difference. Either way, you win. Want some popcorn? Sure. Leon's GST guarantee. Why put it off anymore? Turn your head more to the right. A little more... How's this? Good. <laughs> Welcome back to Music Quest where the Hill family have jumped into the lead. To continue with the general knowledge questions, once again, here's Darlene Murphy. We are here, and you're a little slow coming out of the chute. Right? Taryn family. Yeah, just but run over till it's over. That's right. You're going to dance and boogie and play this one hard, right? You because betcha. we're going to put some points on that board, right? You okay, here we go. Watch your monitors first for this video clue, and then I will ask you the question. Name the singer. Yes, Ian. Olivia Newton-John. Right on! Olivia Newton-John, control for you for this next question. In what country was she born? Australia. Australia. No, that is incorrect. Over to the Terran family. In what country was she born? We'll say England. Cambridge, England! And another note on the board. And you start out with 10. You have control. Stuart, for this next question. What hit by Olivia was banned by some stations in 1981 for supposed sexual innuendos? Let's get physical. Let's get physical. And you have three notes on the board. Here we go. Three notes. Listen to your mystery melody, or a portion of it. Need an answer. Going. Need an answer. London Bridge is falling down. London Bridge. You are going up to the charts in fine style. You have 100 points. That has got to feel good, huh? How are we doing now? Great. All right. So now that you're feeling so great, let's get acquainted, shall we? Why don't you introduce the uh, rest of the members of your family? Well, this is uh, my wife, uh, Shelley. Hi, Shelley. And uh, this is my uh, father, uh, Ron. Hi, Ron. Nice to Hi, meet Donnie. you. Uh, do you uh, have some involvement in the music industry, as I understand it? Why don't you tell us about that? Well, a couple years ago, I put out uh, uh, a country album, country rock album, uh, that uh, got some uh, local play and uh, got a royalty check, but uh, not anymore. Any aspirations to perhaps do another album? Yeah, I need a lot more money, though. So. A lot more money. Yeah. All right. Well, who knows? Maybe someday on a Music Quest show, we'll hear about Stuart's album. get rid of the 3,000 in the basement. All right. You're a star here today. Anyway, you're doing very, very well. All right. General knowledge segment three. Here we go. Each question worth 10, 30 in all. From which musical did the 1985 hit One Night in Bangkok by Murray Head originate? Yes. Chess. Song hit, and the musical actually bombed. Control with you in this next question. Which of Andrew Lloyd Webber's collaborators co-wrote Chess? Not Rice. It's usually Rice. Need an answer. Rice. Judges take it. Tim Rice. OK. Here's the next question. Tim Rice wrote chess with Benny Anderson and Bjorn Olvaeus, former members of which well-known Swedish quartet? Yes. ABBA. ABBA. ABBA, that's right. So you took control of that entire segment. We'll be back with more of Music West. All right, you're about to 
graduate into the Purex Pillow Gang. So never forget your mission in life is to be soft. Soft? Much softer. Soft. That's better. Now, present softness. Billowy, billowy, softer we. Softness there for you to see. Softness we can. Softness we can see. We put hundreds of little pillows in every sheet. It's two ply softness you can see. When you have a job to do and a cold gets in the way, Hall's Mentholiptus will help you cope. Hall's with vapor action works fast to soothe the sore throat, calm coughing, and penetrate nasal congestion. Hall's gives you effective relief so you can cope with the day or night. Hall's Mentholiptus helps you cope with a cold. You can drench that crunchy Crispix corn. You can shilly, shilly, shally. You can drown that crunchy Crispix rice. Dilly, dilly, dally. You can milk it for all it's worth. You can dawdle on down. So take your time. Dawdle on down. You can't milk the crisp out of Crispix. For me. You can't milk the crisp out of Crispix. On the prairies of Western Canada, scientists ponder an extraordinary phenomenon. Incredibly, the cities of Edmonton, Calgary, and Regina form a triangle. But suddenly, even more amazing news. Within three weeks, three people at three points in the triangle win $20 million. We understand there's been three more big winners in Alberta, sharing another $16 million. Well, clearly, uh, the triangle, our triangle theory is supported by the data. as our two families continue their quest for the grand prize, a trip to Disneyland. The Hill family trail the Terrence by 20 points, now back to Darlene. And the game, Jim, we play on with general knowledge segment four. For this, folks, this is a scramble, but first, watch your monitors for your video clue, and then I'll ask you the question. Name this 1985 hit by Sting, yes. Blank. Answer? All right, over to the Tarrant family. Set them free. If you love somebody, set them free. You've got that one. You've got it. Control with you. In what country was Sting born? What country? Australia. No, oh, that's incorrect. Mm. Here we go, over to the Hill family. England? Newcastle, England. <laughs> you got the beat now. This question rests with you. In what film based on a Frank Herbert science fiction novel did Sting appear in 1984? Dune? Dune? Correct. There you have it. Ooh, I tell you. Both teams coming on really strong, huh? We're all feeling the pressure. Uh, drums, guitar, <gasps> bass, keyboards, and vocals I had to do too, which is kind of a laugh, but... <laughs> Amazing! Yeah. So you had to do the whole thing? Yeah. And, and do you listen to music much at all, Rick? All the time, yeah. What kind of music do you like? Um, everything, a little bit of everything. Jazz, rock, and everything. Mm-hmm. How about you, Ian? Do you listen uh, to a lot of music? Yes, uh, and the same thing. Uh, there's no special category, just a little bit of everything. You, mu you must read a lot of music trivia, though, to, to 
be this involved oh, yeah. in it because you're mm -hmm. you're really really doing well We've today as is this good if, if you've studied hard mm -hmm. studied you've hard. studied mm -hmm. hard for the studied. big day that's right okay here we go general knowledge segment five listen to this audio clue first and then i will ask you the question gold finger he's the man the man with the mind Name the singer of this 1964, yes. Shirley Bassey. Right on. I have got to check the score here now. 150 points for the Terran family, 130 for the Hill family. Here's control for this next question, all right? For which film was the song used as a theme? Goldfinger. James Bond, Sean Connery, Goldfinger. Here we go. Next question. Who wrote the themes for such James Bond films as Russia with Love, Thunderball, and Diamonds Are Forever? Henry Mancini? Incorrect. Over to the Hill family. Your chance now to bring it back on the scoreboard. Yeah, why not? Bird back rack. John Barry. John Barry. So you're still sitting at 130 points, and the Tarrant family up to 160. We will be back with our catch up round. has such big chunks of meat and vegetables that you can use a fork, but it's so good you'll want to use a spoon so you won't miss a drop. Chunky is a soup that eats like a meal. Therefore, you're both absolutely correct. <laughs> you can count on Sears for the right stuff at the right price. Complete your workshop with our 90 series Craftsman Power Tools that feature a three-year warranty on sale at 25 to 50% off. Then relax in the living room with an Italian-made leather sofa at our lowest price ever, just $887. The right stuff at the right price. Sears, your money's worth and more. Our winning teams will receive the all-new Casio CT420 full-size keyboard, featuring 210 tone bank sounds and built-in stereo speakers. From Casio, where miracles never cease. The Music Quest Grand Prize is a fabulous one-week vacation for six to the musical, magical world of Disneyland, provided by Canadian Holidays and Gallagher's Travel. Guests and staff of Music Quest stay at the Porta Call Inn, Calgary's preferred airport hotel. When in Calgary, it's the Porta Call Inn. After the general knowledge portion of Music Quest, the Hill family are behind by 30 points. Now back to Darlene with the catch-up round. All right, Jim, we are rocking and bopping. Here we go. This is the catch-up round. You know what this is. This is your turn. If you were to get four questions, all four of them correct, you would gain 100 points. That would put your score total up to about 230. Then you could rank in the top eight teams for the championship round. <laughs> Then you might go to Disneyland if you're the lucky Disney. All right. <laughs> All right. Okay. Here we go. First with the first four questions. Which singer-songwriter wrote the song Me and Bobby McGee? Who recorded the hit The Tennessee Waltz in 1950? Mixed Emotions was a 1989 hit for which group? One of the most popular hits of the 1950s was In the Still of the Night. Name the group which recorded it in 1956. Here's the first question once again. Which singer-songwriter wrote the song Me and Bobby McGee? Chris Christopherson. That's it. One out of four. Second question. Who recorded the hit The Tennessee Waltz in 1950? Patty Page. And that's 
driving me crazy. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Mixed Emotions was a 1989 hit for which group? The Rolling Stones. Three out of four. One, and you, one more. And you cap 100 points. One of the most popular hits of the 1950s was In the Still of the Night. Name the group which recorded it in 1956. The Drifters. The Five Satins. You have now gained 60 points. You have 190 points. All right? Over to the Terran family. Here's the four questions, and I'll go back to the first one. Name Simon and Garfunkel's first hit. Mona Lisa was a 1950 hit for which artist? Which soul singer sang the hit Duke of Earl in 1962? The song Sowing the Seeds of Love was a 1989 hit for which British group? Here we go, back to the first question. Name Simon and Garfunkel's first hit. Sounds of Silence. Homeward Bound. Still three left. Here we go. Mona Lisa was a 1950 hit for which artist? Nat King Cole. Right. Okay. You're still cooking. You're still hot, right? Which soul singer sang the hit Duke of Earl in 1962? Uh, Bobby Darren. Gene Chandler. The song Sowing the Seeds of Love was a 1989 hit for which British group? Tears for Fears. Tears for Fears is correct. What do we have? 190 points. You got two for 30 points. I have here the tie-breaking question, but before I get into that, I want both teams to know there are no losers here today. You both were phenomenal. You really, really, really put on a smash hit performance. This is the tiebreaker, as I mentioned to you earlier. What it is, is a scramble for the buzzers. If you make it to your buzzer first and your answer is incorrect, the opposing team will have an opportunity to answer the question. It's exactly how it works. Are we ready on the buzzers? Feeling a little bit of pressure, but a little bit of control as well, because concentrate on this question, both teams. Here we go. Which singer recorded Shebop in 1984? Yes. Cindy Lauper. Cindy Lauper is correct. What? What a time this has been, huh? It's been great to have you on the show. Stuart, Shelly, Ron, the Terry. Great job, great job. And so our winners today, the Hill family, will be back. With our encore round. Soup's on at Tim Hortons. So come on in for a super deal on our great selection of savory soups. Enjoy one of our soups with a tea biscuit, small coffee, and a donut for just $2.99. Round the clock, freshness. Always got time. Always got time to take Soups on $2.99. A wicked slap shot, a brilliant save. This is K5's Dynamite on Ice, an explosive new home video. The NHL's Black and Blue Brigade is Dynamite on Ice. Gretzky Number 99 is Dynamite on Ice. Wayne Gretzky, the great one, has become the greatest of them all. The NHL's Young Warriors are Dynamite on Ice. Only $19.99 from K5. Available at the Bay, Zellers, Woka Woolworth, Gretzky Kmart, participating Canadian Tire, McLeod's, and other fine stores. Now they have a chance to increase their total points, aiming to be one of the top eight teams to make the championship round. Now, back to Darlene Murphy. Thanks, Jim. Wow, what a round that was. And your question, uh, which singer recorded She Bop in 1984? Are you a Cyndi Lauper fan? Most definitely, yeah. Really? Yeah. 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 We got to get the name of her hairdresser. Can you? I mean, maybe I, I could probably use something like that. I mean, check out her hair. Yeah, I mean, yeah. it's wild stuff, isn't she it? She changes all the time. Oh, all yeah. the time, all the time. All right, this is the encore round. 
You have played and made an excellent showing up to now, but you can't relax because you want as many points as you can for the encore, because this could take you to the championship round, all right? And then, of course, the grand prize. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask you the questions, and they're going to be rapid-fire questions, okay? okay? True or false? Lemmy Kilmeister is the leader of the British group Motorhead. True. The 1987 album Appetite for Destruction marked the album debut of the Los Angeles group Pacific Gas and Electric. True. False. We just happen to be in a good mood today. <laughs> Brian Adams was the lead singer with the 1970s group The Guess Who. False. Poet singer Leonard Cohen recorded the album Songs from the Key of Life in 1969. False. Singer Joe Cocker released an album in 1968 with a distinctive remake of The Beatles with a little help from my friends. True. Syndicated TV talk show host Phil Donahue performed with Kay Kaiser and his orchestra from 1945 to 1950. True. False. The songs Yakety Yak and Searchin' for Hits for the Coasters in the 50s. True. The Pips backup singer Gladys Knight. True. <laughs> True. False. Oh, I don't know. You did a fine job in the encore round. Let's see what you have now. 270 points. 270 points. Curtains up. That's a wrap. We'll see you next time on Music Quest. Some of the contestants will add new records, tapes, and CDs to their collection with gift certificates from Sam the Record Man. Additional prizes for Music Quest have been furnished by the following. Tonight at 7.30, many UFOs come to the rescue of soon-to-be evicted tenement dwellers in Steven Spielberg's uplifting science fiction adventure, Batteries Not Included. Then at 9.30, Ferris sees red when Sloan starts seeing a suave exchange student on Ferris Bueller, tonight on 2 and 7. This is the independent television system. He's weird, he's wild, he's always hungry. <laughs> he's Al, tonight at 7 here on 2 and 7 Calgary. Once again, it's time for Music Quest. <laughs> Welcome to Television's Family Game Show to test your music knowledge. Now here's the host of Music Quest, Charlene Murphy. <laughs> Hello there to you. We are Music Quest, you know? These were once our Music Quest contestants. They have 
come our music stars as they are now in the playoff round. And Jim Ripley, introduce the contestants, please. All right, our red team. Welcome Rick, Ray, and Ian. Say hello to the Hill family. And their opponents, the blue team, Rod, Johnny, and Phyllis, the McDonald family. Back to you, darling. Are we all worked up now? I certainly hope so. Ready to play a music game, but first we will lock in the mystery melody. We have given each team one note. For each correct answer, they will receive a note. They will have an opportunity during the show to guess their mystery melody. Here we go for the red team. And now for the blue team. And we are ready to begin. This is a scramble format, so hot on the buzzers here. Listen to this audio clue, and then I will ask you the question. There's a story in our town of the prettiest girl around. Golden hair and eyes of blue. How those eyes could flash you. How those eyes could flash you. Name the singer of this 1950 rod. Johnny Cash. Ballad of a Teenage Queen, that is right. I guess I can do that, can't, can I do that? Hello, I'm Johnny Cash. Actually, we didn't rehearse this, I just happened to have the black suit on. Anyway, here we go. Name Johnny's wife. June Carter. That is correct. Three notes toward your mystery melody. Once again, this question rests with you first. Which Cash family member recorded a version of Johnny's 1961 hit, Tennessee Flat Top Box, in 1988? Roseanne. That is correct. Well, obviously, it's been a pretty bright segment for you. You have four notes, four notes for 70 points. We'll give you an opportunity now to listen to your mystery melody. Answer? Stardust. Oh, no, that's not correct. Stardust is not correct. But we will go over to the Hill family. And you have one note, but if you were to get it, if you were to guess it correctly, you'd have 100 points. It's a long shot. What do you think it is? I'm looking over a four-leaf clover. It was a good answer, but unfortunately, that is incorrect as well. But... You stay tuned because we've got more hot music coming up. <laughs> Through the years, the mothers of Canada have had a kind of medical training. Next, please. They've learned from countless doctors and pharmacists that the way to take care of a cough due to a cold is with Robitussin DM. And now, at home, the mothers of Canada are putting the advice to work. Next, please. Robitussin, recommended by Dr. Mom. Which Robitussin is right for you? Ask your doctor or pharmacist. Hey, guys. Come here and see what I bought your mom for Christmas. Real nice, Dad. It's a beauty. Don't worry. Mom says she always shops at Eaton's because they have great stuff, and you can bring it back if you need to. I guess you gentlemen have some shopping to do. Yep. yep. Nah. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. Perfect. Hey, you creeps, want to see what I got, Mom? The Eaton Guarantee. Just one reason. Hey, let's try gift certificate. Eaton's yeah. is Canada's department store. Soup's on at Tim Hortons. So come on in for a super deal on our great selection of savory soups. You've always got time, always got time for Tim. Enjoy one of our soups with a tea biscuit, small coffee, and a donut for just $2.99. Soup's on $2.99. You don't have to be an artist to win at Pictionary. In fact, Pictionary is more fun when you can't draw at all. Come on, they're beating us. A, a, a cow lady. Cowgirl! How'd you get that? <laughs> Pictionary, the original charades on paper game for adults and kids. Slang terms of the 60s. The easy part of the game called Outburst is that you already know the answers. Right on. The hard part is getting as many as you can out fast. Baby words for biological function. Outburst and new Outburst <laughs> Junior, the fast ways to have fun. 
Welcome back to Music Quest, where the Hill family trail the McDonald family by 30 points. To continue with the general knowledge questions, once again, here's Darlene Murphy. Here we go, and we are off to the musical races. Both teams, here we go. And you got to listen carefully to these questions, each one worth 10 points, 40 in all. Watch your monitors first for this video clue, and then on with the question. Name this well-known singer. Yes. Diana Ross. That is, that is Diana Ross. There is no doubt about that. Here we go, number two, with you. With which female trio did Diana record in the 1960s? Supremes. You have that one. Which British artist recorded the Supremes hit, You Can't Hurry Love, in 1982? Phil Collins. <laughs> well, this uh, Rod the Record Man, you just keep, keep on keeping on, don't you? The best known version of the Supremes consisted of Diana Ross, Florence Ballard, and what other singer? Mary Wilson. All right. That segment two belongs to you. Here we go. You have eight notes, eight notes for 40 points. Here we go. Blues in the night. Blues in the night, yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, you can go crazy. I'm not going to go crazy on you. Look at this. You've guessed your mystery melody. What a job. Now, the Hill family. You're just a little bit slow getting started here. You have one note, but if you were to get it, if you were to guess it correctly, you could go up to 100 points, so it is worth a long shot. Let's go. Yesterday? <laughs> that is incorrect. That is incorrect. All right. Why don't we just relax a little bit and we'll have a little conversation and you can introduce the rest of the members of your family. Sure. I have my sister, Ray. Who Hi, is a Ray. Mother of three and a grandmother of six. And on the far end, I have my nephew and uh, one of Ray's sons, Ricky. Uh, hi, Rick. And you are a gambler, as I understand it. Or a bit of a gambler, uh, all right. Not a whole lot of dirt on this show, but you do have a hang-up, you do have a hang-up, Ian, and we have to talk about some of these things. We try. So what happened, what happened recently in Las Vegas, though? Well, my wife and I just recently got back from Las Vegas. Yes. And we won our daily slot tournament in our hotel that we stayed at. And it came with a small cash prize, but uh, we're in the playoffs for, uh, in a few months from now. Now, there you go. Now, luck just follows him around. <laughs> and it'll start looking up as the game goes on. Yeah. You can bet on that. Here we go with the next part of our general knowledge segment. Our first questions. Are you ready on your buzzers? Which group performed on the film soundtracks of both Saturday Night Fever and Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Yes Rod? The Bee Gees. <laughs> okay. Number two. From the 1977 Saturday Night Fever soundtrack, name the song which became a hit for Yvonne Elliman. If I Can't Have You. <laughs> All right. There you have it. Name the 1983 film that was the follow-up to Saturday Night Fever. Staying Alive. Staying Alive. Can we not stop this man? All right, so it's mystery melody time once again, and we go back to the Hill family. You have one note. Now let's see if you can carry this off and guess with one note. Here we go. Yeah. My sweet lord. <laughs> Is that what you're thinking now? Yes. <laughs> you're, doing a, you're doing a lot of praying, and you want to be verbal about it right now. That's all right. You hang on. You hang on. I'm sure things will look up. All right. We'll be back with more Music Quest after this. This is a giant pain relief molecule, a milestone in analgesic research. From it, we've developed new acetaminophen formula 222 AF. 222 AF delivers fast, effective pain relief that doesn't cause stomach upset. Once you try it, you may never want to use anything else. From this 
to this. 222 AF. A new choice of pain relief from Frost. Isotoner gloves and slippers feel so good they'll touch everyone on your holiday list. Nancy. Irene. Susan. Sharon. Deborah. Melissa. Sandy. Christina. Jack. Barbara. Flatter everyone with beautifully fitting gifts from Isotoner. And here's a special gift for you. Our designer nail care kit. Free with purchase. Isotoner. For those who have a gift for giving. At Play School, we know little kids love surprises. Hi, Cookie Monster. Hi, Bert. Hi, Big Bird. So we make Play School Sesame Street Poppin' Pals. Push a button and another friend pops up. Bye, Oscar. Bye, Ernie. Bye, Big Bird. They're rolling out the good times in Houston, in New York town and South Bend. Each sold separately. And there's Mickey Mouse Yahtzee, too. The law offices of Stevens and Holman. Unfortunately, people who've been injured in an accident often settle for less than they're entitled to because they simply aren't aware of the value of their claim and can't rely on insurance companies for help. At our law firm, Stevens and Holman, you have a professional negotiator on your side. We know your rights and we work to make sure your settlement is everything you rightfully deserve. Our policy is that we're paid only when we win your claim and you collect. When you need someone with experience, Stevens and Holman, on your side. We're back with more music quests as our two families continue their quest for the grand prize, a trip to Disneyland. The Hill family still trails behind the McDonald's plan by 140 points. So back to Darlene Murphy. Here we go, and Ian, you're having a little bit of problem as team captain, you know, getting the rest of the band members going, but once you get warmed up, huh? You bet. I'll bet you knew all of those answers, did you? Yes. Or a lot of them? Yeah. It's all in the quickness the of the in. buzzer. That's right. This yeah. is true. All right. Well, good luck to you this time. Here we go. On with our segment. Watch first your monitor for this video clue, and then I'll ask you the question. Name the singer of this night, Teen Ian. Billy Joel. All right. I do think, I do think tempers are flaring here. And that's exactly what we want. Okay. Which 1974 Billy Joel hit was based on his experiences as a bar pianist? Piano Man. All right. Get down, get mad. Here we go. Which 1978 Billy Joel hit was banned by Roman Catholic-owned radio stations in the United States? Over to the McDonald family. What do you think the answer is? She's only a woman? Only the good die young. Only the good die young, yes. And it's back to the Hill family. You have three notes, three notes for your mystery melody. Here we go. Without a song? No, without an answer, the correct answer. Without a correct answer, but that's all right. That's all right. There's still lots of show left. As we go over here to the uh, McDonald family, perhaps you'd like to introduce the members of your family. In the end, we have my wife, Phyllis. Hi, Phyllis. And this is my mother, Johnny. Hi, Johnny. Hi, Johnny. Johnny. That's, that's an unusual name for a lady. Is it, is it not? Yes. Okay. <laughs> okay. It's a nickname. I didn't want to insult you, Johnny. Okay. <laughs> It's a nickname from my maiden name, which was Jonathan or Jonathan. It's an Icelandic name. 
Icelandic. Right. I see. So you're a Norseman, a true Viking. Absolutely. Well, it's <laughs> nice to have you with us on the show today. And here we go. Next series of questions. Listen first carefully to the audio clue, and then I'll go on with the question. Name this 1974, Ian. You ain't seen nothing yet. Well, that is yours. <laughs> All right, take over now, take over. This one is in your control. Who was the leader of Backman Turner Overdrive? Randy Backman. That is it. <laughs> Before Backman Turner Overdrive, Randy Backman performed with singer Burton Cummings in what group? The Guess Who? All right. Will we make it 40 points in all? We'll see. The Guess Who was also known by another name early in its career, and what was it? Chad Allen and the Guess Who? Sorry. No. Sorry. Over to the McDonald family. What do you think the answer is? Chad Allen and the Expressions. That is it. And it is mystery melody time for the Hill family. You have accumulated six notes. Let's hear them now. As time goes by. That is it. All right. It's time to do that catch-up thing because the Hill family now has 100 points. 150 points for the McDonald family. You're putting on a good show. We're back right after this. Glade Plugins keeps on freshening with 30 day refills. Plug it in, plug it in. Gently warms to freshen for 30 days. After 30 days, pop in a refill. Plug into freshness with Glade Plugins. Plug it in. This toilet bowl only looks clean, but under the rim are grungies ordinary cleaners can't always reach. Toilet Duck Toilet Bowl Cleaner reaches under the rim to clean down to the grungies. Toilet Duck. Goodbye, grungies. This man is a dentist, so we can't show you his face on television. Morning, Rob. But the fact that he's brushing his teeth may prompt you to ask, what brand of toothbrush do dentists recommend? Okay, Rob, show us. Oral B. Recommended by most dentists. Most dentists recommend Oral B. Our winning teams will receive the all-new Casio CT420 full-size keyboard, featuring 210 tone bank sounds and built-in stereo speakers. From Casio, where miracles never cease. The Music Quest Grand Prize is a fabulous one-week vacation for six to the musical, magical world of Disneyland, provided by Canadian Holidays and Gallagher's Travel. Guests and staff of Music Quest stay at the Portacall Inn, Calgary's preferred airport hotel. When in Calgary, it's the Portacall Inn. After the general knowledge portion of Music Quest, the Hill family have come back and only trail the McDonald's by 50 points. Now back to Darlene with the catch-up round. And you ain't seen nothing yet, because this team is really warming up now, huh? All right, you're starting to hit the high note. Will you continue to do it? We'll see. Good luck. First four questions, I'll go back to the first question, and then at that time you'll have an opportunity to answer. The 1970s hits Out of Space and Will It Go Round in Circles were recorded by which artist? Who recorded When Doves Cry in 1984? Who recorded the theme to the film To Sir With Love in 1967? Which singer-actor recorded Goodbye Cruel World in 1961? And we are back with the first question. The 1970s hits Out of Space and Will It Go Round in Circles were recorded by which artist? Billy Preston. That is it. Correct answer. Who recorded When Doves Cry in 1984? 
Prince. And you have that one as well. <laughs> Who recorded the theme to the film To Sir With Love in 1967? Lulu. That's right, also. <laughs> Lulu was also featured in the film, yes. Which singer-actor recorded Goodbye, Cruel World in 1961? James Darren. Well, you've got to be proud of that. Huh? And are they supporting you here? They've gone wild. You have done so well. You have 200 points. Okay, and now we must go over to the McDonald family who now have 150. This catch-up round is worth 100 points. If you were to answer all four questions correctly, here we go. Name the group which sang West End Girls in 1986. Who sang Hit the Road, Jack, in 1961. Which Canadian country singer popular in the 1940s and 50s was nicknamed the Singing Ranger? Which popular 60s group recorded the hits Midnight Confession and Let's Live for Today? Here we are, back to the first question. Name the group which sang West End Girls in 1986. Pet Shop Boys. That is correct. <laughs> Who sang Hit the Road Jack in 1961? Ray Charles. Bang on. <laughs> Number three. Which Canadian country singer popular in the 1940s and 1950s was nicknamed the Singing Ranger? Hank Snow. That is right. <laughs> Which popular 60s group recorded the hits Midnight Confession and Let's Live for Today? The Grassroots. There it is. Let's check the score now. The McDonald family have 250 points. And the Hill family have 200. We're hot, and we are back after this. You can count on Sears for the right stuff at the right price. Like Canadian-made winter warmth. Start with our Action 2 ski jackets for women at half price. Now $59.99. Then treat your feet to women's leather boots in two styles at $25 off. Now $39.99. The right stuff at the right price. Sears. Your money's worth and more. Buick's pursuit of quality never ends. It's the most customer responsive test we know. Of. One more time. Out here, it's not perfect till it's Buick perfect. Again, one more time. Not exactly a Sunday drive. This relentless testing helped make Buick North America's most trouble-free car line two years running. What's next? Do it again. Whatever it takes. With 77 models redesigned and engineered, GM is putting quality on the road. The Hill family still trail the McDonald family by 50 points. This is the round that will decide the winner of this edition of Music Quest. Now back to Darlene. Oh. All right, here we are. And this is the encore round. Of course, this is rapid fire, true or false. How are you feeling now? How is this whole family feeling right at this particular time? Great. Great. This is Great? fun. Okay. <laughs> of course, you're not hyped up about this at all. <laughs> no. You're not off key at all, are you? No. No, that's obvious. Okay, so here we go. Encore round, true or false? Steve Martin sang Memories Are Made of This in 1955. False. Eddie Grant sang Electric Avenue in 1983. True. Jim Morrison was the leader of the group Them in the 60s. False. Kevin Rowland was the leader of Dexie's Midnight true. Runners. A Boy Named Sue was a hit for June Carter Cash. False. Teenage idol Sean Cassidy sang the 1977 hit true. To Do Ron Ron. The Cars recorded the 1981 hit, Shake It Up. True. Bookends was a 1968 album by Simon and Garfunkel. True. Pearl was Janis Joplin's nickname. True. Goodbye, Yellow Road was the title of Elton John's 1973 album. False. Foreigner 12 was Foreigner's big album in 1981. False. Man Eater was a 1981 hit for Hall and Oates. True. Sally Field appeared in the 1978 film Grease with John Travolta. False. The album Cosmos Factory was recorded by Creedence Clearwater True. Revival. Richard Burton performed in the 1961 production of the Broadway show Camelot. True. That is right. In the Navy is a Huey Lewis hit. False. And that concludes that encore round for the McDonald family. They have 410 points. 
He does that scoreboard register for 410 points. Well, that definitely was above the, co the Call of Duty, Rod. You were great. All right, here we go. That's okay. True or false? Rapid round. Let's concentrate and let's get the right answers. Here we go. Soupy Sales had a hit in 1965 with the most. True. The Temptations recorded My Girl in 1965. True. The Spinners recorded Goodnight Irene with Gordon Jenkins in 1950. False. Bob Seger recorded Night Moves. True. The Eve of Destruction marked the album debut of Guns N' Roses. False. Poet singer Leonard Cohen recorded the album Songs from a Room in 1969. True. The songs Yakety Yak and Searchin' were hits for the Drifters. False. Frankie Valli had a hit in 1949 with that lucky old song. False. REO Speedwagon recorded Can't Fight This Feeling in 1985. Survivor had a hit of Rosanna in 1982. True. False. Yeah, hey Paula was a hit for Paul and Paula in 1963. True. Little Eva recorded Mashed Potato True. Time in 1962. False. The song YMCA is associated with the Bee Gees. False. Lay Down Sally is an Eric Clapton hit. True. The family group. That is it. That concludes the encore round. 320 points for the Hill family. 410 points for the McDonald family. You were tremendous. You were absolutely phenomenal. You thank put on a great show, and we, have, we thank you for joining us thank here today. Much. And of course, the McDonald family, and you're still looking pretty comfortable over here, Ron, as the champions here today. Huh? You were, well, incredible. This Ripley's Believe It or Not, hey, this is a good place for you, Rod. You were great. That concludes Music Quest. We will see you next time. <laughs> Some of the contestants will add new records, tapes, and CDs to their collection with gift certificates from Sam the Record Man. Additional prizes for Music Quest have been furnished by the following. Calgary, I'm Joel Otto of the Calgary Flames. We're taking on the New York Islanders tonight at 7.30, right after The Simpsons on 2 and 7.